the crew has arrived at the pad on schedule. The United States wants to show the world it still has the right stuff when it comes to space. Bob, Doug, have an amazing flight and enjoy those views of our beautiful planet. Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley are the first NASA astronauts to head into orbit from American soil in almost a decade. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. The launch was watched by the US President and Vice President keen to offer a distraction to a nation in crisis. Nobody does it like us. So it's great to have this whole program back and it's just the beginning. The Apollo missions took off from the same launch pad at Cape Canaveral in Florida half a century ago. And large crowds again gathered despite directives to stay at home because of the pandemic. This is like my dream come true to see this in person. The first private human space flight, it's a big deal. What this did today is it gave us hope for our entire nation. Falcon stage separation confirmed. This is a huge step for us. It's a huge step for the commercial ventures. And I think it's important for the world to realize that we're going into space to stay. And we're going to continue on to then the moon and then on to Mars. Thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride. Got the out. Good luck. Godspeed. While the astronauts headed to the space station, the Falcon rocket that propelled them out of Earth's gravity returned and landed so it can be reused for the next flight. Falcon 9 has landed. On board the Dragon capsule, the mood seemed relaxed. We do have a, an Apatosaurus aboard. Billionaire Elon Musk provided the taxi service and was happy to take a bow as the president heaped praise on SpaceX's achievement. Not even gravity itself can hold Americans down or keep America back. We're really proud of the entire team that was able to accomplish human space flight again. The astronauts will spend about three months testing systems before the mission is declared a complete success. But already the era of commercial spaceflight seems to have arrived. Michael Troy, ABC News.